Welcome to the first episode of Season 1. All these episodes are constructed in a special manner, because all the information revolves around a single detail. It is the one thing to teach them all. This secret detail is hidden behind this red curtain. It's a number. It's a secret number in biology which will help you understand and learn the basics of biology and life in an easy and fun way. What is the secret? The secret is number 4. But why number 4? You know, number 4 is a very special and mystic number in biology. I like to call it the number of life. And it also has a great impact in human life too. Let's explore the reasons why this is true. But first, let me tell you something of vital importance. Every human being, absolutely every human being, whenever they live or have lived, and wherever they live in the planet Earth, or in a galaxy far, far away, as long as they are human beings, they all share some common things with each other. Let's see what are these things. Let's take a beautiful human creature as an example. I've chosen Princess Leia, Leia for love and life. Even though she lives in a galaxy far, far away, she's still a human being. Now let's see what we all have in common with Leia. All Homo sapiens, including our princess here, first of all have one common thing. They are all composed of four and only four types of tissue. The epithelial tissue, the nervous tissue, the muscle tissue, and the connective tissue. Let's see a very short introduction of each tissue. First is the epithelial tissue, or the lining tissue, because it lines the cavities and surfaces of blood vessels and organs throughout the body. And also all the glands are made up of epithelial cells. Secondly, we have the nervous tissue, or nerve tissue, which is part of our nervous system. It is divided into central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord while the peripheral nervous system consists of the nerves and ganglia outside of the brain and the spinal cord. Thirdly, we have the muscle tissue. There are three types of muscles. First, the skeletal or striated muscle, so called because it looks striped or striated under the microscopic view. And it is also under our voluntary control. Plus, it is called skeletal because they are attached to bones or to skeleton through tendons. The second type is the smooth muscle, or non-striated muscle. It is so called because it is not striated or striped under the microscopic view, so it is smooth. And it is not into our voluntary control, so it contracts involuntarily. Smooth muscles are mainly found within visceral organs, like our gut, our bladder and so many others. And finally we have our cardiac muscle, or heart muscle. It has some intermediate feature between skeletal and smooth muscle. It is striped or striated in microscopic view, just like skeletal muscle, but it contracts involuntarily, just like smooth muscle. There is only one place in the body where we can find this type of muscle, and it is found in the heart, of course. The fantastic thing about it is that it contracts not only involuntarily, but also rhythmically and non-stop throughout our life. Our heart first begins to beat around 3 weeks and 1 day after fertilization. 3 plus 1 equals 4 and 4 was the number. And from that moment on, it keeps on beating ceaselessly throughout our life until our life comes to an end. The last one is the connective tissue. A tissue that its function is to connect, support, bind and separate other tissues and organs. Connective tissue is found in between other tissues, everywhere in the body. A great way to remember it is that any tissue which is not any of the three, three types above is definitely a connective tissue. It is found inside our blood and lymph, our bones and cartilages, our adipose tissue or the fat tissue we all want to get rid of, and any supportive tissue throughout the body organs. But what is a tissue? A tissue is a group of similar cells from the same origin that together carry out a specific function. But what do I mean by cell? Do I mean a cell phone, a prison cell, a battery cell or a terrorist cell? In fact I mean none of these. We use the word cell in biology for something totally different. If you really like these videos, you can subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media.